Good morning, neighbors. Let's sing this Southern Gospel hymn together. So pull up a chair or a rocking chair. There are loved ones in the glory whose dear forms we often miss. When you close your earthly story, will you join them in their bliss? In the joyous days of childhood, oft they told of wondrous Dying Savior, now they dwell with Him above. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by, in a better home away. Lord, in the sky, you remember songs of heaven, which you sang with childish voice. Do you love the hymns they taught you, or our songs of earth? your choice. You can picture happy gatherings round the fireside long ago. And you think of tearful partings when they left you here below. The circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. In a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky, one by one. One by one they went away. Hear the circle has been broken. Will it be complete one day? Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by in a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. <coughs> that is a question. See, this is a song that has question marks in it. Will the circle be unbroken? Uh, and it ask, I mean, almost everyone ha ends with, uh, here the circle has been broken, will it be complete one day? Uh, they taught you, or do you love the hymns they taught you, or are songs of earth your choice? Will you close, when you close your earthly story, will you join them in their bliss? You know, it's asking questions, and it's a question that we each and every one must ask. There is a thought nowadays that, you know, Everybody gets to go to heaven. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You just, uh, okay, quote a few things and you'll make it. But really, Jesus Christ was dealing with publicans and sinners. He's dealing with Pharisees. He's dealing with, so that's very religious people and people who really didn't care at all. And he said, you know, neither one of you are correct. I'm trying to bring you, and you have to follow me and live like I lived. Follow me to through a, a watery grave. Follow me to the cross, you know, all these things. And then continue to live it. Love God and love your neighbor. Do these things. Because in sometimes, like, 
like we were saying, we don't even ask that question. We just say, you know, they weren't a serial killer, so they, they obviously made it. But we have to a- be able to answer these questions. And a question, not only for ourselves, but Lord, am I doing whatever I can so that that circle will not be broken, that we'll be able to join together around that throne. And that's what we want. Uh, in Matthew chapter 22 and verse 23, the same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise the second also, and third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also, therefore in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. So when we think of the circle, you know, uh, I like the song and, you know, you, I pray that I'll see my family there and all these things, but you know, he's really saying, you know, in heaven, it's going to be better. It's going to outweigh anything in this, in the natural that we're living in now. Uh, cause they're trying to logically figure all these things out. He said, don't you realize, you know, over there for in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but as the angels of God in heaven, you know, and the family of God, uh, you know, it's it's an amazing, amazing, an amazing, amazing thing. Uh, you know, and sometimes he refers to us as the bride of Christ. Other times, you know, in other different terms, you know, we're born again. We're born. We're children of God. We're this. We're adopted. And, you know, I was riding in the vehicle with my daughter the other day, and she was recently baptized. And I said, Dad, it's a funny thing. You're my father, but you're also my brother. And, you know, it's a language that uh, scripturally we understand. Though I am our natural father, you know, in the family of God, we're brother and sisters. You know, we're, we're here. We're, uh, we're all washing that blood. We're children of God. So it's a glorious thing. So when we sometimes we can think, you know, well, oh, won't it be sad, you know, that it'll be different in heaven. But I was reading something that someone had to say. He said, don't you realize in heaven everything is better? The way it will be presented, oh, the Lord's going to wash away all the tears from our eyes. And I pray that the circle is not broken, that we'll all be there together as brothers and sisters, and Jesus Christ will be our elder brother. It'll be a glorious, glorious reunion, a glorious time to see the ones who have gone on before. You know, to, to see my dad again, to see these ones who have made such an impact on my life, not only that I've met face to face, but who I've read and learned about, you know, the ones, the saints throughout the Bible. To have that glorious reunion someday will be, will be beyond anything we can imagine. In this life, we just can enjoy ourselves trying to imagine some things. Just don't lock it in and say, this is how it's going to be. Just say, Lord, whatever I think is going to be more glorious than what. It's just going to be amazing. So God bless you all this day in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.